Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be reacting to the one and only Mr. Bill Bear on Black People Stand Up Stand Up Comedy. So if you know anything about Bill Bear, you know that Bill Bear he doesn't care what anybody thinks. He speaks his mind. So I wonder what he's going to say about black people. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoy the content. Comment on what you see next and subscribe to the channel for more content. Let's get into it. Okay. It's nice to be back here down in the south, man. I had a real weird experience last time I came down here. I was in Nashville, right? Sort of an awkward social situation, right? I'm sitting at this bar. There's this white dude sitting like two stools away. I don't know him. He doesn't know me. And that Terrell Owens story was in like sports news. So I try to make conversation. I'm like, man, look at this guy. This guy just signed a $40 million contract. He's already bitching, man. How much money do you need to make? And the dude looks at me. He's like, you know what I say? And then he looked over his shoulder, which I now know is the telltale sign that the N-word is coming, and it's coming hard. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's not going to be pronounced with the A. It's going to be with the R. And he hit the R. He, like, stuck the landing. It was like a dismount. Clan members high-fiving in the background, like, doing the wave. Just out of nowhere. So now, immediately, I'm looking over my shoulder like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> you know what I mean? I wait for like this hail of black fists to come raining down on top of me. I hate when people do stuff like that. That dude made me part of like a potential ass kicking that I had nothing to do with. He didn't even ask for it. You don't do shit like that. He just had that word hot potato just threw it in my lap. Like, eh? <laughs> Trying to pass it down to the next white dude. I hate when people do that, man. You know, it's like, dude, feel me out first. Ask some questions. Do you like to fish? Have you ever fucked your sister, right? I start rattling off answers, then you go old school. You give me a pamphlet, you tell me about your militia. Don't just dive into it. That dude was one of the angriest people I ever met. I should have known that word was coming because he was just watching Terrell, right? Anytime I would bring up, look at man, that guy's talking trash. He would just like flip out. He won't shut up! <laughs> you know those people get like so mad they're not even looking at you. Their eyes are up. You just shut up and play the game! <laughs> you know what's funny? I don't even like Terrell, but now I love the guy. Because every time I see him talking trash, I know this idiot in Nashville He's just losing his mind, like kicking over his kitchen TV. Shut the fuck up! Oh. Actually, I got a couple of uh, friends of uh, African persuasion. And uh, I got to get rid of them, man. I got to admit to you. I'm fine. I'm spending too much money on clothes hanging out with them. Because I got to, like, fucking try to keep up with their wardrobe. It's like every time they go out, they got all brand new shit on. Oh man, I tried to, but I stopped. I can't anymore. When I just came here, I mean, this is common to black people because even back home, back in Africa, it is the same thing. Every time you go out, you're supposed to have new clothes on. Otherwise, you'll be the only one who doesn't have new clothes on. I don't know. This is something black people, man. Black people just, you just have to dress. I don't know why. All brand new shit. So when I show up with my mm -hmm. white version of brand new, which is, you know, I basically, I iron the shit, right? I ironed it, right? It's new. They just start trashing me. I can't keep up with them, man. They got like fucking 58 pairs of sneakers. <laughs> Ever notice that shit? Like every color fucking Timberland. And I don't give a shit what fucked up color their shirt is. They got a pair of shoes to match it and a hat. <laughs> that is so true, man. That is so true. Oh my God. I'll tell you, that's actually funny. You know what? That's actually how, uh, how I judge black guys now. When I first came to the city, like all black people scared me. No, I was like the typical white dude from like the suburbs, you know what I mean? Had no frame of reference, you know? So my only frame of reference with black people was like, those, remember those early 90s gangster rap videos? Throw the fucking LA riots in there, man. It was fucking horrible PR. Ice Coop. I'm watching the videos, so he's got nice cars, he's got all the women, and he's still fucking mad. <laughs> These black dudes are never happy. But after 10 years of living in the sea, this is how I narrow it down. Whether black dude scares me or not. Black dudes with dirty sneakers scare the fucking shit out of me. Oh. No. Okay. I figured out in my head, because I know from hanging out with them, that's the last shit 
that they're going to let go, the immediate shit that they have on. So I think, you know, if his sneakers are fucked up, that means his life is fucked up. Every time. Oh man, I've never made a connection before, but that's so damn true. Because it doesn't matter how poor they are. Every time you say black person, they're always clean. Their sneakers. Man, that is so true. Every time he leaves his building, the whole neighborhood, oh shit! Everyone starts making fun of him. He's on the train in a bad mood. I kind of have this howdy doody, kind of mug me kind of face. I'm not saying something's gonna happen. I'm just saying, I'm paying attention. I'm not judging you. Oh. I'm not judging anybody. I didn't know anything about lotion. Never used it the first 33 years of my life. Never used it. So one night I was going out with this black girl, right? Man, you don't know anything about lotion? No, white people, man. You guys must have some nice skins. I don't know what to tell you. I... That was crazy. 33 years, you never used lotion. She was getting ready and she was just putting that shit on everywhere. Just slathering it on. I thought she had like a rash or something. I'm like, what are they, like poison ivy? What's going on with you? What is poison no, ivy? I'm sure I'm not ashy. I said, ashy? She goes, dry skin. Wait, you guys don't get dry skin? And no way, this is just for comedy. There is no way. No way. I went, wow. I guess I freaked her out a little bit because I was like, wow. She's like, well, white people get ashy too. I was like, yeah, you know, I, I don't think we do. No. Yeah, I've been alive for 33 years. No one has ever said, hey, Bill, uh, you look a little ashy. That's I've never even heard me. that word until you said it. That She's is like, you're an idiot. Stick out your arm. So I stick out my arm, and ever so gently, she just drags her nails down. The smoke starts coming up. It's like pastry flakes flying off, track marks. She's signing her name. She's like, you see that? She goes, that's ashy. You're ashy. Oh, you freak me so out. you guys will get shit, ashy. ashy. <laughs> I didn't know anything about Man, I was wondering because that doesn't really make any sense to me. I was kind of accepting it because I didn't know. But yeah, I don't think there's anybody who doesn't get ashy, to be honest. Got it. All I knew was that I always got itchy in the winter. <laughs> Couldn't figure it out. Always got itchy in the winter. What the fuck do I get itchy? I thought it meant the bath towel was dirty. That's what I thought. <laughs> and I would change it out and put a fresh one. Now I'm going to be okay. Take a shower, dry off, fucking itching again. God damn it, I hate the winter. <laughs> See that? That's why you got to hang out with everybody. <laughs> yeah. There's too much information in the world and every group of people misses a little bit. Yeah. White people totally missed the lotion seminar at some point in history. I don't know if it's because we can't see it. You know, black people get ashy. It looks like they like leaned up against a chalkboard or something. <laughs> yeah, they can see it. They miss it. Their friends help them out. Like, look at your ashy motherfucking elbow. What is wrong with you? Right? So true, man. We miss that shit the way black people miss the whole register your weapons summit. Wow. <laughs> Just never got the information. Wow. The amount of rappers who've been busted for the unregistered Glock in the car just blows my mind. It's like, why would you do that to yourself? Do you just want to make an album over the phone? Is that what it is? Is that like the new auto tune or some shit? I don't know. No, it breaks my heart every time I see it. I just think, God, if he just had one white friend, <laughs> he just had one white friend in his entourage, dude would have been sitting there going like, is that thing registered? You out of your mind? Get it out of there. Get it out of there. Yeah, it's illegal. That's like fucking three to five mandatory. <laughs> how, do you, how do you not know that? That's the question. How do you not fucking know that? Okay, don't believe in these myths. Black don't crack. It's bullshit. They all put lotion on like every 20 minutes during the day. It's ridiculous. They all get a giant oil drum with a shit at home. Every morning they wake up, they dump themselves in it, shake themselves off, and walk out the door absolutely glistening. Glistening! All right? All right, guys. Who is that? Okay, I'm going to stop the video here. It is, we are 7 minutes and 50 seconds in. So if you guys want a part two, please let me know. But I hope you guys want part two. I'm going to stop here. I don't want to make it too long. So many people don't make it to the end, but hopefully you guys did. Yeah, be a bit, one thing that I've... Uh, notice about him that he doesn't give a s about anything he says what he thinks and he thinks what he says it's like there is nothing fake about him that's what i like about him but yeah, i hope you enjoy the content 
I'm definitely gonna look watch the rest. If you guys want me to film it, I'm gonna do it. Otherwise, I'm watch it on my own. I hope you enjoy the content. He's crazy, man.